Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Chris here from Philly Mennonite Church. It's time for another midweek musing, and I have a question for you today. Have you ever set a reminder? You know, grabbed your phone, put it up, and said, Hey Siri, remind me to something. You fill in the blank with whatever it is you want to be reminded about. Now, when that reminder goes off at whatever time to remind you to do whatever it is you wanted to do, do you simply say, oh, thanks for reminding me, Siri, put your phone down and then continue doing whatever it was you were doing and not have do anything with regards to the reminder? Well, that would be kind of silly, right? That would sort of defeat the entire purpose of being reminded, right? Because why do we remind ourselves? Well, we remind ourselves so that we do the action that it is we want to be reminded about. And that had me thinking, had me musing, friends, about the message from this past Sunday where Pastor Brandon brought to mind this idea of being of one mind, being minded about something so that we are minding it in the places where we live, work, study, and play. And what was it that we are to be minded of? Well, the mind of Christ, the, the idea of living for the glory of God. It's, it, it's how that whole passage in Philippians comes to a close, all for the glory of God the Father, right? Everything that Christ did, um, coming down and humbling himself, going to the cross, dying, raising from the grave, ascending on high, it says all for the glory of God the Father. See, he was so minded of the glory of God that everywhere he went, he was minding, living for, living out, celebrating, pointing others to, reminding other people about the glory of God. And friends, that's what we want to be reminded of. Every time you set a reminder, I hope it brings a reminder to you, a different one, to be mindful of the glory of God the Father so that we live for the glory of God, so that we point others to the glory of God, so that we celebrate the glory of God, so that we just spend time basking in the glory of God and invite others to do the same. Right? What Paul says, wh whatever you do, whether you eat, whether you work, uh, whether you are watching a sports game, whether you're shopping, whether you're driving, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So friends, let's not just think about the glory of God. Let's not just um, contemplate the glory of God. Let's live for the glory of God. Let's point out the glory of God to others where we live, work, study, and play so that they too can be welcomed into his presence, welcomed into his glory, and enjoy it for themselves. Have a blessed rest of your week.